just making sure the mic was turned on. I wasn't sure. Well, this is a different stream because it's not what I planned, but there again, what's unusual about that? Good morning, everyone. I'll just move me chat over there a bit. And we're good to go. We're good. Hey, what do you reckon? Got the squish new gear on. Oh, no, I didn't finish my breakfast. I had intended to do, to do that. But it obviously didn't happen. I had planned on doing, um, what was I going to do? Snails, rolling pins and pizzas. But that's up in the wood turning shed and the blacksmithing area. But yesterday after we finished the <coughs> um, making the apron, the ADSL cable that goes to that workshop broke. So the only ADSL cable I've got is this workshop here. So we're back down here and we're going to do some box making, which has thrown me a complete curve because I didn't intend doing it at all. So we're just going to have to make do with what we got and we'll work it out. Oh, let me see who we got in the house. <coughs> Excuse me. G'day, John, first in off the, off the blocks. G'day, Trevor. G'day, Ray. 60. Whoa. We'll take over the hospital. Brian, g'day, mate. Andy, good morning. Wombat, g'day. Penella, I hope you had a good sleep, doll, and you're feeling better or better than you were. It's, I'm, not, I'm not used to looking at this apron. It's, 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 not, it's not me. I'm, I'm used to the old scungy one. That won't take long. It'll be scungy soon. Ah, uh, Wombat there. What have we got? Ah. Practical exercise, yes, oh, you become an IT whiz, John. Jared, good morning. Are you just setting up YouTube on it? Oh, okay, there we go. Evening, Tempest, how are ya? Yeah, I haven't saluted you, Your Highness, for a long time, so I'll do that and I'll bow down to your magnificence. There you go. I'm going to draw the line at holiness, but majesty, I'll bow to your majesty. There you go. <clears throat> Mic works. Yay! Now, well, I had the lights on the camera on and I was listening to um, David Gilmore, Pink Floyd, smacking out and then I looked at the time and thought, oh, I've got to do it. And I hadn't put up what I was going to do and I hadn't posted it on Facebook. Then I got all that done. I forgot to have my breakfast. And then I realised I didn't have my mic turned up. New apron, doesn't know what to do yet. That's what it is. Oh, well, good morning, Yvonne. And if Ruby's still there and Kyle's still there and Elijah's still there and the Hope's, oh, Ruby's still there, the Hope's still there. There you go. Good morning, Tom. Welcome to the workshop, mate. G'day, Dobie. Oh, there you go. She wants better to see you and Sue. Oh, Sue's much nicer than me. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. G'day, Alan. How are you, mate? Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? It's nice. Apparently, um, one of my followers, not apparently one of my followers, but, oh, 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 no. I thought I, thought I was down the camera. But I'm not over here. Let me just bring this one back. And just untangle, untangle, untangle. There we go. All right. In my day, in my day, it was called Can't See Me Gear. Camouflage, can't see me. And one of my uh, followers, G'day, Lyndon, if you're watching, mate. Um, he told me that it was affectionately called rabbit ears. And if you look at it, it does look like little rabbit ears. Oh, he's a heart there. And you see, rabbit ears. Affectionate name, <laughs> it can be the bunny apron. So you learn something new every day. Uh, Oh, I love Pink Floyd too, John. 
Have you got one? Have you got the, 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 the pyramid? I'm just not. I don't know if that's not central, is it? I should be. I'll get used to it after a while. It doesn't matter. One back, good evening to you. Oh, you Royal Highness, you've got to look after her. Okay, now, what did we do? Last, last time I was down here doing boxes, I glued that bit back on. So that's all good. I want to carry on with that box. And we started putting veneer onto this box, which is the top, the bottom, sorry of that box. So we continue doing that. I might put some solid edging on this, we might put a base in that. I am trying to work out how to finish this off and it's not proving to be as easy. I did it once, obviously when I did this, but I can't remember how I did it. And if we can work that out, I'll start making another box. We'll put this lid on and then that Madrona I did the other day, I'll take that out of the press now, we'll have a look at that. I haven't been down here for a day. Oh. So this is, this is the one we did before. There you go. And don't forget, this is the this is the front side with the newspaper over it. That's the back side bit there, and that will eventually go on the top of that box there. And I'm thinking of yeah, I might do something else with it. I don't know, but we'll leave that out for the moment. Um, bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to... Let me just move all this gorgeous stuff to one side. I've got some emails I meant to answer today too. I didn't get around to answer. So I apologise. I will, I will get back and answer those when I have stopped streaming. Uh, I was going to get Susie to do one that said... Uh, what was it? Dream, stream, scream. Oh, Division Bell, I like that one. That's, that's, that's a good song too. Good morning, Louise. Sneaking in there. Weird, isn't it? Hello, Bob. I haven't finished my breakfast yet. Wait a minute. Let me throw this down my neck and then I can feed Bob and he'll leave me alone. Look at the look of concentration on his face. Where is it? There you go. <laughs> That's, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, all right. I get this every morning. You watch his eyes. The spoon goes from the bowl into my mouth and he watches. <laughs> mm. I did read somewhere on Facebook. The moment you choose to buy a dog is the moment you choose never to finish the sandwich, never to have a piece of cake all to yourself. But you're a good boy, aren't you? That tastes a bit funny. You don't care, do you? Mm. I get up in the morning, get Susie a cup of tea. When the fridge door opens, he's there, got his nose in there. What is it? What is it? Can I have some? Can I have some? I have a, a nice coffee every morning. 
And he's sitting there waiting for the biscuit. You're a hound. Oh. Hey, Eric, how are you, mate? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Good morning, Louise. I've said that, sorry. The pyramid, you mean dark side of the moon? That's the one. Apparently, the guy who designed that cover, he had about 35 designs up. And what they decided, each member of the band would go in and pick what they thought was the right design. And every single one of them went in that, 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 and they picked the spectrum pyramid. And he's going, but guys, guys, there's another 29. Have a look. No, no, I like that one. And he got a bit miffed because he put so much time into all these designs. And who would have thought it was iconic? That's it. He's gone now. Look at that. Yeah, that's it. All right, Bob. See ya. Oh. How to feel loved. Oh, bottom boom. He'll be back. I don't think Susie's cooking. If Sue was cooking. He wouldn't. He'd, he'd stay up there. I don't know. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm sure we could find somewhere for you to stay. Can't be here, though, because we're, we're chock-a-block. We've got too many people here as it is. But there's bound to be a hotel up the road. But you're welcome in the workshop, Yvonne. And you too, John. You can come in and have a play. Mm. Oh, no, it's been minutes since he's eaten, Brian. <laughs> Absolute minutes. G'day, Randy. How are you, mate? Daniel. Daniel, welcome. Back in. Now, Daniel, oh, you sent me an email. That was the one I haven't answered yet. I shall get around to it. I'll, I'll do it today, actually. Yeah, Prunella, dream, stream, scream. I think it should be dream, scream, stream. Because <laughs> it gets a little stressful before I go in here when things don't work. But we get there in the end. That's the main thing. G'day, Mike. So we might do some marketry down the road too, Mike. I think that'd be fun. Oh. Ronnie and Sean are the oldest two, I believe, are slaves to go home tomorrow. Oh, we'll miss you, but I'm pleased you're pleased to get out. Good day, T Bone. Oh, that's well, don't forget, Ronnie and Sean, when you get home, whack that subscribe button for me. Because I know it's a bit hard to do that when you're in hospital. New apron, you like it, T-Bone? We made it yesterday live on stream. And I'll, I'll show you the, I'll show you the, the trendy bits. These aren't ordinary aprons. Look, they actually have pockets, real pockets. There's a Leatherman in there. It's amazing what you can find, and and they're lined, and then they got. Quick release clip at the back. How good's that? <laughs> Got to put it back in there. There we go. Now, I like them. I used to make them a lot. I've, I've made hundreds of them <laughs> over time, but I hadn't made one for about 13 years <laughs> until two days ago when I had to fashion this one, and then we made another one. I cut another one out, which isn't... Australian cam, it was just a, a, a make-up, make-believe cam that it's very, very close actually to what the Malaysian camouflage used to be when I was, crikey, when would that have been? And back in the 70s, we had a couple of exchange um, officers came over to do a parachute riggers course and their camo was very similar to the camo I cut up yesterday. Good day, Dean. How are you, mate? 
Steve, can you talk about your vacuum bag system? I found the pump, but want to know how the best bags... Well, I just make them. I'll show you how to do that in a tick. Louise, yes, marketry. Platter of... Pla platter of Paris. Well, I can't do that, but I'll give you a platter of a plaster of Paris, if that's any good. And linseed oil trick. Um, have I got anything around here? No, we'll have to do... We'll do one from scratch for that, Louise. T-Bone, if you're a few minutes late on your stream start time, no one will mind, we'll wait. <laughs> oh, that's nice. No, I like to do because if not, I'll fluff around here. No, oh, it's 20 past, half past. <laughs> Susie, Susie said, you've got to take a break. We're coming up for 40 days, people. 40 days. You can start calling me Noah soon. 40 days and 40 nights. She said, you've got to take a rest. I said, I can't. She said, why not? I said, if I do it, then I will start again. <laughs> so I've got the momentum going. <clears throat> they are fancy, aren't they, Prunella? Uh, I miss the quick res. Which was, no, new, I, yeah, it is. Oh, a release part of the stream. Oh, the quick release. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Just for you, John. Here you go. It's just got a quick release button. There you go. And then, and then, and then, and then. If I was in the back of my head, it'd be good. And then the, the adjustable part, if you get past my beard, the adjustable part is just two brass rings that thread in so you can adjust it up. I actually have safety pinned the loose bit on the inside of the apron and I do that <clears throat> so when I'm leaning forward over machines or something or other, there's not a loose bit that can get caught. Safety person, let me single this creeping up. <laughs> I just pulled my singlet there. You yeah, can see me wife beater. There you go. I, only if you're an Aussie you'd know what I was talking about. Uh, well me Jackie how? Do do bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum do 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 bum ba da ba dum Ah Dean Hello Well good day Julian how are ya? Sell them yeah I could but no couldn't couldn't be bothered making them and most people go, oh, this Ted, do you only want to pay $10? Well, for those of you that saw the stream yesterday, it took me two hours to make one. Okay, I can do it a bit quicker if I'm not chatting, but you're still looking about an hour and a half to make it, and there is around $45 of material, and bits and pieces that go into it, so one and a half hours and $45 worth of material. You come up with how much you think they are, I know how much they are. But I'll even write it down, see who can get close. That's not going to work. There you go. If there's any interest, we'll see how close I am and see how close you are. There's two prices. There's a plain one that doesn't have embroidery and then the other ones, they start with embroidery. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, where are we up to? We should have some relics if you breathe. <laughs> I think it'll be, it'll be destined for the tip. I will cut off the rings and the quick releases because I'll use those. I should keep it for pros posterity, that's the word. I know a lot of football uh, players and sports people, when they have different uniforms for different games, they keep them, but i got enough junk here. Hey, Wes, hey, Ange, how you going? I thought that was a good idea for a jigsaw puzzle, Ange.
No, well, this camo came up. I was in a fabric shop buying some uh, material for Susie the other day, and I just spied this in the corner, and it was it's genuine Australian Deba Department of Defence surplus issue. That's what did it for me. Andy, what's the longest time to make a symbol box? Three weeks and still come. Oh, well, you got 12 months, 12 months on that one. In fact, these ones I'm working on down here, they go back seven years. Um, what else have I got? Oh, this one will make you cry, Andy. It was, it, this was a really, really nice box. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'll get around to finishing it too soon. This, this one is Koto, Koto and Ebony. Where are we? Koto and Ebony. And I was really, really happy with it. Um, walnut solid edging. And it all, it does all line up if I turn it around the right way. There you go. It all lines up all the way around. I forget how many hundred uh, diamonds are in it. And I left it in the car and it got hot and it all blistered. So what I'm going to... And that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll put something in the top of that. There you go. That's another job we can do. Um, yeah, so the sun blistered. The sun blistered all that and it all came from together. So we might we might do something there, Louise, and we can um, we can do the plaster of Paris tricky. <whistles> oh well, that's a good deal. When are you going to do that, John? Before the chest of drawers, or? After you've made the rolling pins, oh, what else was it you got conned into? Busy, chappy. I just shot off then, didn't it? 40 days and 40 nights. There, that's it. Hey, Steve, Angie's really flattered by how nice you are. Oh, well, I'm flattered that she should think so. There you go. Yeah, it sounds like a fair trade. Oh, thanks, Dean. I found, I found when I retired, I was too busy to do anything else. Oh, you do. Yeah, no, there's a special one. Um, T-Bone, a wife beater in Australia, it's got to be blue. It's got to be a dark, a dark blue singlet. Not a white one, not a pink one, not an orange one. It's got to be dark blue. I used to wear white ones, but frankly, they just didn't stay white. So the old Jackie Howe, and it's called a Jackie Howe because a very famous shearer always used to wear them, and his name was Jackie Howe. Hey, Reginald. How are you, mate? Do I offer private classes? I, I do, Dean. Where are you? But it depends where you are and depends on a lot of things. Uh, I don't know. I have to work that one out, Wes. That's close if you're talking American. Yeah, I can do that too, man. I can. I can lose anything. Put it on the bench. Boom, it's gone. What was it? I could not for the life of me find alcohol yesterday. And it's there staring at my ankle. Come in this morning. Oh, that's where it is. It's 
there we go. Well, I don't know, isn't it? Well, there you go. That's very observant of you, Ray. You'll get over it. You can get counselling for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what the cost of postage would be. Oh, I wish, Daniel. Yeah, no, Dean, I'd love that too. I don't know how much it would cost, but no, if, if, big if, I was going to sell them, there'd be $120 um, Australian, $150 they start if you want embroidery. Because the embroidery actually takes just as much time as making the apron. But at the moment, I'm not going to be making them. So there, oh, I've... I might, I might finish that one off that I've got up there. Oh, paper towel holders, that's the one. I've got to get some work done. Oh, there you go, Dean. Yeah, okay. So, so you're pretty much on the money, Wes. 85 US. Okay, now I've caught up with everyone. Ray, first time I went to Snowfields, I was wearing thongs. Flip-flops, that's the ones. All right. Um, I'll tell you what, we might, we, might, we might have a play with this. I'll go and see if I've got a, an oval over here that... Oh, there we go. That would do the job. Oh, that one would. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Might do that. Might do that. Oh, let's see what else I've got here. <clears throat> oh. That's... that's I, I quite like that, actually. Oh, I do. I like that. That one will fit. Uh, what's this one here? So what I've got to do is cut over all the broken ones. No. I think this is going to be... That's going to be the one. And let me have a look, see if I can find something. See, so we put that. Let's go there. So I've got missing these squares here. So we put that on there. That'll cover all. What am I doing? Come here. Oh, cameras are like Bob. Okay, so we might do an inlay there. I don't know what we can do. Well, let's just have a look over here. I've got a, I've got a little applique book here somewhere or other. Here we go. What have we got? Oh, dear. Ah. Uh, bum, bum. What's this one? Oh, got some coat out there too. 
Um, oh yeah, okay. Um, boom, ba, da, boom. Is it, it, with the, um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I still got that book down here or did I take it up to the other shed? Let me just go up to the other shed, hang on. La tum la di di di, rum bum da 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 da. We've got some in here to ah oh. hello. What's going on there? That's not meant to be doing that. At all. It's not meant to be foaming up. My glue's boiling, which it's not meant to do. And that's my cook has finally died. I'll be witty in a tick, I've just got to work out what's going on with my cooker. It might be... It's really strange. i just got to wait for the fan to switch off. It's going to switch off. Come on, there we go. Now I'll turn it back on. Temperature. Let's see if that happened because that you shouldn't boil your hide glue, it's not good for it. These are just um, different things that I've done. <sighs> what have we got? I reckon a rose would look nice. I do have a nice rose in here somewhere. Oh, teddy bears are good too. <laughs> yeah, so if you've got um, any applique books or stained glass window type books, you can use any of those. You just change the um, size to whatever you want, and then you can put your colours in. So that's a nice rose. That's a nice rose. How big is that? That's... Ba -bum, ba -da -ba -da <laughs> that dog one looked fun, wouldn't it? Or penguin? See, that one looks fun. We might do that one. That looks easy. All right. Uh, find some tracing. Well, I'll just see what else I've got in here. Nah. 
Now, I reckon that, that's, that's a fun one. We'll do, we'll do this little puppy dog. That one there. So, first of all, we'll put a background on it. See, there's me. I was, I was going to do box making, now I'm doing marketry. I told you, could be anything today. And tomorrow, I'll bring some marketry books down and I'll show you which books I've used and which have helped me. I'm just looking for some tracing paper. Nothing else that'll do. It's not my ideal stuff. But it will do. Because it's not a hard one to do. Oh dear. I'm just looking for stuff. I know what I'm looking for. I just, just can't find it. I'm looking for a box that has got what I need in it. It's a big, red, long box. Ah, that could be it there. Let me just, ah, ooh, have a look. Yeah. But it hasn't got what I <laughs> it hasn't got what I want in it. Which is a nuisance. Oh, still, I did find some tracing paper, so things are looking up. All right. Let's just move all this stuff. Is that not boiling there? Yeah, that was weird. I don't know what went on with that. Might be, might be on the way out. We might even put a rose on the top of that one. We're on a roll now. I love this. I love it. Plan, plan spontaneity. Um. Now I do need, I've got me in here, I've got to get some car uh, carbon paper, pencil carbon paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Just cleaning out a mess. Now, if I'm going to do that, what I've got to do, to do, to do, to do, just trying to think of something that's going to look nice. in there. What colour? What are we going to, we're going to have a dog, so it's going to be fun. I don't know. Ah. Uh, 
I'm just trying to think of a colour I can put in there. Hi, Tony! Yvonne's watching... Oh, okay, marketry is putting pictures, putting pictures made out of timber into um, other things. So this is marketry. I've got a bit over here. <coughs> oh. So that's marketry. This was somebody's business card and I blew it up and then took that, it's a, a nightclub on the Gold Coast, took that and then cut bits of timber and scorched them and then inlaid it so it's nice and it's flat. And that is marketry. But we're going to do a fun one. I'm just trying to think of what background to put on there. At the moment, so, um, I'm going to put them, oh, I know what would look nice. If I can find some. Just, I'm just over here in the, Oh, hey, yeah, that'll look nice. A bit of Russian birch. Or poplar. Oh, poplar wouldn't be bad. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can find. Some Russian birch, which is quite nice. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. That one there. The other one I was thinking of would be poplar, which isn't too bad either. Oh, that's a spalted maple, that one. No. Oh, decisions, decisions. What to do, what to do. Have we got that, that, that. So we'll mark that one. And we'll put that there. And then we'll cut this out. To start with. So let's go all cams. Um now we'll leave that, we'll make, what we'll do, because I'm using, I was going to do uh, Amboinia first, but no, what we'll do is we'll do the dog, then we'll inlay it in that, then we'll inlay it onto the top. That way I've only got to do one incising, which does cut down on the margin of error. Now, I'll put that away, put that away.
Click, clack. All right, let's get the dog. And we'll draw it first. And we should be able to just about have this one done in the stream, I think. Now I'm going to put some extra extra bits in here as well. It is it is a simple design. So we're going to come that around there and I'm going to put a bit of black in there for the ear. Two. I'll put a bit in there. Put a join down that tongue. All right. Now you just got to think when you're doing this, how is everything going to join together? <laughs> This really is. Yeah, Prunella, this is a scream time. Okay, so there's the dog. So first of all, we've got to get the colour of the dog. And I think a brown would be quite nice. So I'll just go and get a box of scrap and we'll see what I've got in there that we can use. to get to. <laughs> nah, it's too hard to get to, so we'll just... We'll just... grab some stuff from here. See how we go. That'll do. I've got big boxes of offcuts of veneer that when I ran marketry classes, you can just hook into. But what we'll do, that's quite nice. We'll just use what we've got. So what's that's going into that? I think we need a lighter colour his face. Yeah, that's a good colour. Okay, we'll have that for his face. And you can use that grain there to some effect. Oh yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. Alright, just gotta find some 
Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Carbon paper. I did have a box of it down here, but that doesn't mean to say it's still here. It's very hard to get pencil carbon paper now. If I can't find it very, very quickly, I'll carbon grab some from up in the house because I know I've got a, another big box of it up there. Too helpful, hopeful. There. No, I'll just go up to the house and grab it. So, you can play. I spy. I'll be back in a tick. from school. I don't know where that other thing is, but anyway. Here's a new one, a Drambuie. Never, ever even been opened. So I better open it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, pencil carbon paper is the best because the uh, pen stuff, it's black to start with, and it doesn't transfer as nicely onto timber as the pencil stuff, which is blue. So I said I do have another box of it down here somewhere. But where it's gone, I don't know. I'll, I'll find it. I bet you anything you like, within 24 hours, I'll find it. Now, the thing to do... Oh, let me have a chat first. And then we can get back into it. We don't need that. Uh, da, 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 da. Ba, dum, bum. Ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Um, speaking of pictures made in wood, whatever happened to bark painting? 
I, well, there you go. I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It'll come back. Oh. Where am I? I'm only, I'm only eight minutes back, so that's good. Turkey Leg TV, we got a new one in the house. Turkey Leg, welcome to the, welcome to the workshop. That's it. I should, I should have made one this colour. Should, remember that ad for, I think it was Nest Cafe, where that lady wore the same clothes, the same colour as the furniture? That was clever. Just going through your eye spying. Rooms, rooms two and three saying good evening. Well, good evening, rooms two and three. Oh. No, the, it's very, very hard to get. Um, Pencil carbon paper now, Louise, very hard. I've got a couple of hundred sheets of it, but it's hard to get. The kids are in room four, five and six. Well, good day, room four, five and six. Okie dokie. Now, I don't want this much so I'm going to actually cut it because it is rare as rocking horse stuff so we'll just give a slice down there that should do that and we might even slice it down there and there you go and I'll put that back in the fold with the other stuff shortly. Now the thing to do when you're doing marquetry is mark, the, on, on your pattern, mark the grain direction that you want on whatever it is you are doing. In this case, I want grain direction that way for the head. For the ears, I want it going down. Uh, for the paws, that can go that way. The tongue. I'm actually going to do a two-piece tongue. So we'll have them going that way. The nose, have it going that way. The eye, going that way. Going that way. Going that way. So <clears throat> then you just put those arrows. And then when you've got your veneer, you orientate it, so that grain's running that way, which correlates to this arrow here. Now the other thing is make yourself a stylus. This is the back, so if it's the back, I've got to go on the front, I'm going the wrong way. 
See how that bends? Won't bend that way, but it'll bend that way. So this is the back. I want to... Yeah, and I'll, I'll do conventional on this one, then we can do the plaster trick. So that's the back. So we'll turn it around for the front. And I look to see how that's going. So what I'm doing is following this crown cut here. Tape it down. Put your carbon paper underneath. If you have one, grab your marketry box. And I should have a stylus in here. There you go. It doesn't have to be a flash of mine. That's ebony with, it's a darning needle. Stuck up the middle of it. Put that there, we'll get that one out of the way. And then just draw around that face. I'm actually going to, where these pores are, I'm going to go through those pores and bring it around his chin and then join that up. So I'm cutting one shape because when I come to these pores, I can cut in to that background then. So that's the shape of the head. So we'll cut that one out. Sharp knife. Have a little bit of wet and dry handy so you can just brighten your knife up. And this is one of those ones where it just takes patience. You can't rush it. This is Palisander or Rio Rosewood. It's very hard. So I'm just going to have to take my time with it. I'm not going to try and do it all in one hit. Just a little bit at a time. As you saw, if you're using Madrona, that'll go through in one hit. Poplar's pretty good. Uh, walnut's good. Cherry's not bad. Maple takes a bit of getting used to. Any of the acacias are pretty hard. There is a thing called double bevel marquetry, which we might do at some later stage, where you use a scroll saw I use 13 and a half degree angle on the table and that gives me zero gap. I've just decided, I've, I've made a decision. I'm going to, this piece I'll do this way, but the rest I'm going to do reverse marquetry. The reason being is if I slip with the knife on this, and put a cut up there, you'll see it. But if I'm doing reverse marquetry, I'm actually coming from the back. And therefore, if I make a slip, you don't see it. It just plays with your head a bit, that's all. Don't force it. Yeah, 
You've got to have control over the knife because it can shoot off and follow the grain, which isn't exactly ideal in a lot of cases. This is tough stuff. I actually, a mate of mine's got a, a Porsche 900 Turbo 1991 model, which apparently the, the rage at the moment, and we actually did his dash and his side panels in this timber, palisander. Gee, it came up nice. Black Porsche, uh, pinkish, creamy seat, leather seats, and this wood interior. And even there's an area in the dashboard where you, know, you put your sunglasses and what have you. We actually built compound doors to go in there, put little brass <laughs> knobs on it. Camera really good. I'll see if I can get a photo one of these days. And just keep stroking it. Don't force it. I'm using a lot of pressure on there, but it's also controlled. And you're going in all directions here, you're going across grain with the grain. Don't get all excited when you think you're through because you might not be. Let's go this side. Don't be frightened of moving the timber around. Okay, that's the first bit. So what we'll do, I'm going to work from the back from now on. It's going to be easier. Now his ears, his ears, I think, we should have a slightly darker colour on his ears. I quite like. This is uh, Satin Walnut from New Guinea. This is the downside. I'll just mark that was the downside. Um, and I'm going to turn this over because I'm going to be working backwards now. And I quite like these black stripes. So we might put black stripes in his ear if I've got one with a bit of a curve in it. nice so you it, it's like art only your wood is your palette so now we come down and we'll just draw the ear now I've got a, a piece in here that I'm going to put in later on, a pink bit. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I'm just going to do that whole ear and I'll put that pink bit in a little bit later. So there's one ear there and we'll match it up. The grain was going that way so this one we've got to turn it around so the grain is going the other way. Go. Put that under there and draw it on. Now 
And they don't have to be exact copies of what you've drawn. Be a little bit arbitrary. Now we'll cut these out. I would estimate this is going to be three streams to get it finished. But the good thing is you might pick up some new skills or it might even spark an interest in you of something you'd never considered before. I think out of all the disciplines of woodwork, marquetry, for me anyway, is my favourite. You can just lose it. You can spend the whole day and you end up with something that's less than an inch square. But there's so many talents or disciplines that come into play. And you learn a lot about yourself. You can't do marketry if you're cranky. Because it's so fiddly. There we go. That's one. So if you do, if you're cranky, excuse me, if you're cranky and you start doing marketry, one of two things happen. Either you stop doing marquetry or you stop becoming cranky. I'm very close to the edge there, that's why that one's breaking. And you really learn about the characteristics of different timbers. Oh, that's <laughs> that is so bony there. Now you know you can in a lot of ways if you've got a good selection of carving tools. You can punch a lot of these out using different radii of carving tools. But it's like anything, if you, if you learn how to use a knife, it's a skill that's going to hold you in good stead for a lot of other applications in woodwork. It'll teach you focus. It'll teach you patience, discipline, and also how to use tools. Okay, so if we turn that over that's what we've got so far oh now you could actually glue those on no what I'm going to do is put the inserts into the ears here And I think I'll use Madrona for that. Where'd I put that Madrona? 
<laughs> this is just lovely to use. Because it's well behaved. The drawing is a bit harder to find out which is up and which is down, but after a while you'll get the hang of it. Now we'll find something with a little bit of shadow, a little bit of character in it. That's quite nice, that bit. Sue and I watched a good movie last night. It was Walk, Walk, Ride, Rodeo on Netflix. Bit of a tearjerker. It's a true story about a girl that was an up-and-coming rodeo star and she um, had a bad car accident and left her in a wheelchair and just... With grit, guts, and determination, she became a radio star. Very, very good. Okay, this stuff's easy to cut out. It's just like cutting a bit of suede, as I said before. I've got a sharp point on the end that I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep. But we will see. And this one here. See what I mean about Madrona? It's just lovely. It's just, it's nice. It does exactly what you ask it to do. Yep, I lost that tip. So that's all right, we'll just put another tip on. Mm. There you go. Got a tip back. Easy peasy. Now we've got to put these inside the ears. And to do that, Sticky tape it down. Might as well do the other one while we're at it. Where's the other ear going? Oh, that's handy. So what were you saying, Mike, about losing stuff that's right in front of you? So there you go. Again, I'm working from the back still. Okay, here we go. Now, as I'm cutting, uh, you can't see much there, can you? Actually, let's see if we can bring that over here.
as I cut through this tape, I replace the sticky tape. Mr. Magoo glasses on, I think. Ah, that's better. I can see. Be careful when you're coming through Really, you should be going from the outside in to prevent breakout, but sometimes it's just not practical. So I'm cutting away very, very gently on that end to eliminate breakout. And if, if it does snap, well, that's just tough. you just got to deal with it. Just glue it back on, a bit of super glue or a bit of whatever glue that you use. And hopefully that will lift out. Do a little bit here to take okay so there are the there's the bit that I cut out and that's the bit that's going to go in there you don't glue it in yet because we're actually going to um, burn it to give it a shadow so just sticky tape it in and there we go. Hello, my darling. Hello. I didn't bring anything today. You didn't. You just... No, oh, there you go. Well, it's good to see you down here. I've just got to cut this one down. All right. Yeah. Give us a mooch off camera. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going up in the... Yeah, okay. In the schoolroom. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is good. Oh, good. Oh, Tony's on. Yeah. She asked you about those panda oh, yeah. things so you can clarify whether it was a panda quilt or the... No, it was a, a brace mat with coffee cups. Ah, okay. Now, this one's going to get in the way because I've got to come right around here. There we go. So we've got two bits coming out of there. That's the bit we cut out. Don't need that. Just clean that up a little bit. And that's the bit that's going in. So you just poke that in there like that. That's all good. Tape it up. <coughs> well, I'm fixing a box that I don't know, remember that diamond one that years ago I left it in the car and well I, I'm going to put a fun little dog inlay in it. Why not? Well I can't think of a reason why not. I've got me Mr Magoo glasses on so I can't see squat. Oh, okay. <laughs> but these are, don't forget we're, we're backwards still. So you're not looking at the front of it, you're looking at the back of it. All right. That's what we have there, and we turned it over. 
That's what we have on the other side. Well, let's talk to Susie. Oh, oh, I can't see with those glasses on. Are you coming over here, my darling? Did I leave your sewing room in a mess yesterday? I haven't even got there yet. Oh, well, that's good. <coughs> oh, there you go. What have we got? Having hot chocolate. Oh. Is Anthony reading the chat? No, no. I don't think so. Uh, yes, woodwork. What I was asking was whether Sue ever sold any of those sets. Yes, she does. I know someone who is very independent. Hence, I was asking. All oh, right. Well, I'll get her to talk to you. On. Are you got a? Uh, are you a messenger? Or give us an email address. And we will talk to you then. Yeah. Did you see the panda quilt she had the other day? Because you did a big panda quilt, didn't I you? I did. You did. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hi, Tony. Hi. Oh. oh. Tony, it was... Oh, there we go. Tony, I can tell already that if I try a marketer, I'll have to work sitting down. Oh, uh, yeah, it's nice doing that, but you'll find... You get a lot more purchase standing up. Uh, when Jeff used to run his classes, he had seats, but I just find standing up is a lot easier to do it. I love fabric art. Well, anyway, look, they're all, they're all, that's it. Mm. They're all sort of up to date. Oh, thanks, Ray. Question, Brian, question C. Can't you replace a T... Hang on, Stephen. Couldn't you place a tea towel over the box and hot iron down those bubbles on top of... Yeah, you could, but nah, we'll do it this way. I've lost the bits anyway, the bits that came out of it. Oh, OK. You yeah. could have, um, yeah, but I've lost the bits. It's, mm. it's been a while. That would be know. about 12 years old, that yeah. one, I think. Um, I'm just looking for... What do we do for paws? Will we, what paw, What colour paws? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that would be fine. We could do that for paws. How's... Where's, oh, got a, where's the camera? There you go. We'll, we'll use that. You idiot. <laughs> we'll use sap wood for paws. That'll be cool. I like that. Then what have I got to do? Then I've got to do the eyes. What colour eyes? White, I suppose. Well, white on the outside, and then if you've got a brown or something for the... I don't know, yeah. We'll... Well, well that dog's eyes are dark, aren't they? Mm. Perhaps we should, No, we'll do ebony. Yeah. We'll do some ebony. Yeah. Oh, actually, I did have some black veneer here somewhere. No, no, we'll do ebony. Because the... the the stained veneer, it, it breaks through yeah, sometimes. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Uh, that's what I reckon. Good morning. How are you, Pam? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, we'll hold you to that too. We've got to go to the coffee shop. Mm. I was, I was going to do some turning today, but we had an accident with the, the cable when we had it up in the sewing room. So I'm down here and I was going to do box make and then we sort of got on to doing marketry. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. All right. So well, it was it. only a quick visit. Just a quick to say visit. Just say hello to me. Yeah. That's good. And you know, check out the State of the Nation. State of the Nation is good. Bob's down here. Let's have, give us a look at your eyes, Bob. No, see there. They're dark. Yeah. There, yeah, okay. So we've got to... Mm. Actually, walnut. Walnut would be nice. Yeah. I've got a bit of walnut. Oh, there's some walnut there. There you go. That can be his eyes. Oh, look at that. It's even better. It's got nice... There you go. Figure in it. I don't know if that's American walnut or dog stuff. No, I think it's American walnut. It's kill. All right. All right. Well, I'll see you I in a bit. I will catch you mm. later. Later. Thank you for coming down. That's all right. Okay. Um... Let me just find a bit of ebony, ebony, ebony. 
Got to have, there's most likely stuff floating around the floor. Oh, no, that'd be, that'd be good for eyes. Yeah, no, that'd be, that would be awesome for eyes. Look at that. Bit of that, that's, whoa. Let me find a bit of, a bit of ebony over here. Is everything's going to come down when I pull that, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I think we'll have a black nose. We'll go for a black nose. There's some black schnoz. And we're going to have a red tongue. Bit of Chilean. Bit of Chilean would be good for the red tongue, I think. No, it's, oh, poke your tongue out, Bob. Give us a look. This, this is just stuff that's lying around the floor. Poke your tongue out. He's going to go away, leave me. So that might be nice for his nose. And his, his tongue. Or that one, I don't know. Okay, so now we've got to do the nose. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, two thoughts. Uh, have to buy some veneer next time. You are you? Have you run out? That's all right. I think I might have a couple of sheets up here. I don't know. I'll have to check. Okay, so that's that's the back part there. So I haven't used that for years, but if you look at it, I've got pencil lines on it, so I already know that it's the back. And, and I did that, and I found that it was. Oh no, that'd be nice for the eyes. No. All right. Pause. I really like that to be. Yeah, I like that. Pom, 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 pom. Now, what did I say? <laughs> that was the back side. See, I've, I've slipped. No, that's the back side. So if I do the front side, I know what I want. This is what I mean. It really plays with your head. It really does play with your head. There we go. So this paw here, we'll change glasses. This paw here. that one and I want to get the same type of effect on the other one so that's got there that's got there there you go so we'll turn that over and we'll do that to that. <whistles> yeah, 
it really does mess with your head. And if you're doing an intricate pattern, oh, worse still. I mean, this is a fairly easy basic one. So I'll cut both of those out. That looks as if it's on the outside, but actually when we turn it around, that's going to be on the inside. Um, something like this, I would most likely just go to my chisel roll and knock these out with a, a chisel. But I won't. I'll do it this way. And just to see if I've still got the skill. Ah. See where I, I slipped? But it won't matter because you won't see that on the finished part. That's what I love about the reverse method. But having said that, I did the front method for about, oh, I don't know, 18 years before I started using the reverse method. That word should, but there it is again. Right up inside that, between his toes. That's pretty, pretty darn close to popping out, I reckon. She's still caught somewhere. Ah, so okay, I split that. Doesn't matter, keep going. Just don't stop. All right, so I've got a, a break in that. All you do a little bit of glue doesn't matter what sort put it where that split is got all this fibre came out of there Put it together. Okay, it's come all apart now. Don't panic about it. Put it together. Bit of sticky tape over the top, and I've just broken the other side of it, got stuck on my finger. That's all right. Pop it down, a little bit of glue down the side there. Line it up. Bit of sticky tape over the top. And just let that sit there for a while. It'll, it'll be right. It'll be... It will be good. Should be Jake, as they say. Let me, let me have a quick chat. Oh... Oh, leave me mouse.
Yeah, no, 728. 728, Pam. <laughs> I'm just reading Kerry Blue. There's a story about that, Kookaburra. It's just these people that come and do things for the first time and uh, we won't go there, will we, Pam? <laughs> hey, Steve, to buy the transfer paper, you can get normal paper and slowly rub it off. At office works, they have transfer paper, or you can get normal paper. And there you go. Thanks, Jeff. How's your aircon going, mate? Did you get it in there? Where are we? Morning, Steve. Love the apron yesterday. We got that bit. Uh, Ebony is great. If that's on the floor, I'll come to it. Mate. All right, you want to see what's on the floor? I'll show you what's on the floor. Oh dear. Just just so you know I'm not telling you fibs. There you go, you got Amboinia there, there's a bit of myrtle there, there's a bit of uh Jarrah there. There's more Amboinia over there, there's a bit of ebony hanging up there. If you come out here if I can move Bob. Open Open this door here, I've got, there you go, veneers on the floor there, it's out there, it's hanging down from the roof there, it's up there, it's all over the place. So, no, that wasn't an exaggeration. Now I got your kookaburra comment. Oh, where am I? I wanna oh, okay. there we go. Oh well, you wish him good night, John. We'll catch up with him tomorrow. Yes, there is, Pam, a three-piece shell. Hang on, four-piece shell. That's the first bit you ever did. Oh, yeah, look, I focus a little bit too much sometimes. I like that, Kerry Blue. Small, small is good. Small mistakes. Thanks, Tony. And where's your toolbox? Where's your journeyman's toolbox? I bet you're not using it as a toolbox. Still in the lounge, I'll bet. Mind you, it, it was nice. All right, here we go. It's Kerry Blue's just reminded me, 728 strokes of the knife. Oh, there we go. Where are we? Oh, there we go. So we're working on this little fella bit here. Actually, I might give that a... Might give it a bit of a brighten. Careful you don't cut yourself when you do that. Uh, see? See, I, I jumped and it went past. If that was the top, you'd have that, you'd see that. But coming from the back, you're saved. And you've got to adjust your cuts to suit the grain of the timber. A 
and there's a stab cut in there. Let's get around that. I, I would pick this timber wood. It's going to look good though. And sometimes go outside of the cut that you want. So you can come in. So this one here, I only wanted to cut to there, but I've come outside that cut, cut further in that I wanted. Because then when I come down on this cut here, I've got empty space I'm going into and I won't break that corner off. Well, this is... There's no guarantees in life, but we can um, try and minimise. Okay, this is going to be a pain because I'm going across grain here, which is tough. This is where your 700 strokes comes in, Pam. That's as blunt as Uncle Henry's old boot, I think. Let me just touch it up on the chawmick a bit. Okay, and I'll come back the other way, so I'm not going towards the edge, I'm going towards the centre, which is going to be stronger, which is going to minimise my opportunities of wrecking it. And this one is nearly through, I think. Hanging in there somewhere. There we go. Ah, so how's how's we looking so far? Yeah, we've got to cut that into there. This one should be dry by now, so we'll just pull this out and have a look. And if it's not, it doesn't matter. We just leave it there until it does dry. See what he's looking like front on. We've got that there. That one's There. Put a bit of tape on that one. And that one can go there. And 
this one actually I'll move up a bit. Whoop. Yeah, it's starting to, starting to look like him a bit. Turn it around. At the moment we've got the two ears, two paws. Could do the eyes. I quite like this as the eyes actually. Just don't know if it's going to be... Too much brown. Um, hang on, let me see if I can find some Carpathian elm. I should have some over here. I know I do have some, but where it is, I don't know exactly. What's that one? No. That's elm, and we'll cut a little bit of this out, which will give us that sort of doggy type look. Now with this, this is one where I will use water, and I'm going to press it. As soon as I find out where those cords are gone. Because they're not where they should be. Oh, there they are. This is bubbly stuff, as you can see by that, and it breaks very, very easily. So what I'm going to do, give it a good squirt with water. Here's, here's one for you, Mike. This is conditioning. Put that in there. Put that over the top. I'm going to stick this in the press for a couple of minutes. That will flatten that out. And then when I cut it, it's going to be cutting like wet paper, but it'll be nice and flat and we can get a good cut. Then you wait for it to dry before you actually put it in. Um, I reckon if we're going to have that, we should have, should we have, I don't know, we might do, yeah, we might do a bit of ebony for the pupil sort of side of things. Or should it be white? I don't know. I'm trying to imagine it in my head. I might do the tongue. We'll do the tongue while I'm thinking about that one. No, I want a red. What's, what have I got this red? I do have some red. Where's, where did I see that? Sunglasses on, like proper glasses on, I could see instead of those things. Now, where is it? I've got some really. It's a dyed one, which I'm not too wrapped about because the dye colour can come out. I 
רבים מתים בשל. Fold. Oh, hang on one minute. Wait a minute. Let me have a look at one of these. Maybe. Oh, oh that's not bad. Oh, don't think that's got any in there. We'll have a look. These are great if you can ever get them. This company's gone out of business. But you used to be able to buy sample books um, with all different veneers in them. They were absolutely great for marketry. I'm looking for a, a particular red. Know where it's gone. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit vague. It's possibly because I am. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's quite nice. There you go. That'll do. That'll do me. This is uh, another. These are all man-made veneers. So all these patterns. But I quite like. How's that? That's, that's a nice red. That's what we'll do for his tongue. Has it got anything brighter? No. That will do. So, yeah, if you can ever get uh, sample books of veneers, they are really, really great to have uh, because you can't do a whole project with one sheet, obviously, but... You can, actually, I, I reckon. I reckon I'm going to do. But you can get highlights out of it. That's what I'm going to do. That bit right there, if I can get it a bit further up. it to where we want it to go. I was going to do this in two pieces, but given that colour that I've got, I reckon I can do this in one piece. Uh, most of this stuff is poplar. So it's fairly nice to cut and to work with. And the colour tends to be a lot more permanent than the, dyed, the other dyed veneers that I buy. Yeah. Oh, 
that's nice. I like that. That's got character. There you go. He's, he's got a tongue hanging out now. Uh, with the man-made veneers, it's it really it's very hard to pick it. That would be the downside, but yeah, it is hard to pick. But not a problem. We're there. All right. Well, I think that's just about as far as I can go with that today. What I will do is work out what I'm going to do with the eyes, and I'll do a bit more. So tomorrow, all of him will be cut out. But what we can then do is do the burning and the shadowing of how to shadow a veneer. Uh, what else do I want to do? Yeah, and then we'll... Um, cut, oh, we might as well cut the oval now. We'll do that. This is going to be what it's going to be laid into. Oh, I'll show you that uh, burl too. So we'll just cut this out. That um, elm that I'll put in will cut the eyes out of that because that should be easy enough to work now. Just downward pressure. Whoops. There we go. Almost all the way around. And I think, I think that's it. Okay, so that's what we'll actually put the dog, the dog's head into. And, yeah, that's going to look nice. That's going to look pretty nice when it's finished. I'll uh, just get that burl out and you can see what I mean by wetting it and flattening it and then cutting it when it's wet but I would advise against gluing it in while it's wet unless it's wet with glue because if you do what happens it will shrink okay now you can see how nice and flat you can see how nice and flat that is now and that feels like wet cardboard. And it'll cut like wet cardboard as well. Got to be pretty quick. I can feel it starting to dry out even as I'm touching it. Now I'm going to cut the full eye out and like I did before, I'll put the highlight in later. That one there and I reckon this one here. Now this will cut really, really easily. But you've got to move pretty quickly with it. It doesn't cut quite as nice as Madrona. 
but pretty close. And what I'd do once once I've cut these bits out, I would be well, I won't be tempted, I'll do it. Actually put it between two bits of timber or something or other. So when it dries, it'll dry flat. If not, it will dry and go all crinkly on you again. Okay, so that is really, really nice to cut. But it's got to be wet. If you try that, doing what I'm doing here, when it's dry, it is so brittle, it'll keep snapping and do your head in. Yeah. So now where's where's the dog's head gone? He's got a tongue. Which way is we going? And he's got two eyes. What we've got to do now is put a nose, then we've got to put some lines in there for the cheeks and the the mouth here. But we'll do that. If I haven't got it done to, to the rest of the day, we'll do that tomorrow. And that'll give it some character. Doesn't look much now, but believe me, when he's finished, he's going to look absolutely adorable. Now I'm just going to put these two pieces of elm in between something or other and I'll just squash those until they're dry. Wait a minute, I'll just cut a piece of plywood up. There you go, so I'll just put those There, I'll put that over there, and I'm just going to put that in a vise for them to to dry. Then we won't have any dramas with them. That's it. She's a monster, Adobe. You guys are horrible. Oh, where's where's where's? I've got a mouse under here somewhere. Are we running? Am I that late? Thanks, Rudy, Randy. Oh, well, that's it. I'm over my time, and I better do it before. Look, you can have a look. You can have a look. It's that that I took out of the press. Gee, it'd be nice to have a cameraman. Can you see how that's really started to go a bit wonky now? So you haven't got much time to play with it, but if you flatten it, you can cut your shapes out, and you can get away with it. If I was still working that, I would um, wet that again, put it back into the press and come back, cut a bit more out, work it again, put it back in the press. But, yeah, unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. Nothing you can do about that. So that's it. This is Steve pulling the shed door down. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit different to what I intended to do. But we'll persevere with that until we've got it finished in the box. As I said, I reckon it's about a three-day project. And if I've got time to do other stuff, we'll do time to do other stuff. So thank you for everyone that joined me today. And I um, hope you got something out of it. 
even if it just took your mind off things for a couple of hours, that's always a bonus. Thanks to the mods, thanks to everyone in the chat room. Those that are lurking, jump in and say good day. They're a good bunch. And if you haven't been here before, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications because I'll be here again tomorrow when we'll do it all again, only differently. But in the meantime, this is Steve pulling the shed door down and I'm just quickly getting all these notes coming through. Then you won't have to worry. Why won't I worry about the cable? Steve, you should look at point to point. Oh, too much, too much hard work, mate. I, <laughs> there's a lot of things I could do, but I'm not going to. This is Steve pulling the shed door down saying, remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe. Follow the rules. And who knows? We might be out of this sooner than we think. But in the meantime, be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. Exercise restraint. And I look forward to having your company in this workshop at this workbench tomorrow. I can guarantee that because I haven't got a cable up to the other one. And we'll just see where it meanders from there. And I can't even think how to wind it up. So I'll just say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And... Watch out for each other. Cheers. Bye for now.